Hi and welcome to COMM 1155 Applied Writing Skills. In this introductory video, I'm going to give you an overview of the course, try to explain how everything works, and talk about how you can be successful. So what are applied writing skills anyway? Well, they're applied, which means they're practical. In this course, we're focusing on the writing skills that you need to be successful as a student and to be successful in the world of work. If you have challenges with writing, there is no miracle cure. It's a skill, so it takes practice. But this course will give you the foundation so that over the course of the rest of your studies and throughout your work life, you can continue to build and improve your writing skills. How is the course organized? Well, have a look at the course outline and the course schedule, which give important information about the course. But then you'll see that it is divided into seven modules. Think of them like chapters, and each module contains a number of lessons. The number of lessons in each module varies between five and eight, and each one deals with only one main topic and some subtopics of the chapter. So here's what the lessons look like. They start with a title screen that gives the name of the lesson. Click on Start. Next we have the Objectives page, which tells what things you're supposed to be able to do when you complete this lesson. The number of objectives in lessons varies from one to about four, but each lesson is intended to be quite short. Click Next. The online lessons give information in several different ways to help you learn, and you can choose to use whatever resources work best for you. First of all, you can see here that we have a text summary of the information on this subject. We also have a link to a video, and the video gives uh, an explanation of the exact same information that's given in the text. There's also a Try It link. You must do all of the Try It questions and any other kinds of questions that appear in the lesson because they all count for marks. So click on Try It, you'll have a couple of questions, true, false, multiple choice, drop down list, things like that. And then it will take you back to the main lesson. Click Next and continue in the same way. When you reach the end of the lesson, you'll see a page that says Practice. Again, when you click Next, it will take you to a couple of practice questions, usually three. When you get to the end of the lesson, it'll give you your score. When you click on Continue, you'll find some other resources to help you learn. These are downloads. There's a study guide. And what this is, is a text document that you could open in any word processor and use as a guide to taking your own notes. So it'll suggest some things that are important that you might want to find out about and make notes. There is a print version of the lesson. So you can download this, it's a PDF file, and print it off. It is a no more than one page summary of the contents of the lesson. And some people learn better by reading on paper. Finally, you'll find a practice sheet. And this is a self-scoring practice sheet, that is, you score it. Uh, but it gives you practice exercises with answers that you can use to review. Every time you do the lesson, please go all the way through to this last page and then close the lesson. And that will automatically put the score in your Grade Center. You can go to the Grade Center and look at the score and decide whether or not you are happy with it. And if you're not, you can go back to the module and click on the lesson and do it again. And you can do that as many times as you want until you get the score that you want. So why are the lessons designed this way? Well, it's simple. Writing's a skill. The only way to get better at it is through practice. So I've provided practice questions that you can do until you master them. The other reason is that if you are dealing with a topic in a lesson that you already know, then you can move through that very quickly because you're going to get all the questions right. It's very important that every time you do the lesson, you do all of the try it and all of the practice questions. It's also important that you do every lesson because the lessons themselves and these practice questions, the try it and the practice questions, are worth a total of 35% of your overall mark. At the end of each module is either a quiz or a writing assignment. 
The quizzes are each worth a total of 5% and there are four of them. So quizzes amount to 20% of the value of the course. The writing assignments are worth 10% each and there are three of them, so that's 30%. The quizzes and the assignments can only be done once. So take your time and do a good job and make sure you don't attempt them until you feel that you've mastered all of the content that's in the lessons for that module. Once everything else is complete, there's the final exam. The final exam is worth 15% and it will take 60 to 90 minutes, I'm guessing closer to 90 to complete. It covers everything that has been looked at in the course. So it would be a good idea to review. This is where you might want to go back and look at some of the uh, printable versions of the lessons. This is where you might want to go back and look at your study guides um, or at the practice sheets that you've done. So you can see that this course is not intended to trick you in any way. and We want you to succeed. You can do the lessons as many times as you want to until you get the score that you want and you feel that you have mastered the content. Do the practice exercises with friends or go over the uh, study guide or the printable version. Go ahead and talk about it, discuss it. That's a great way to learn. We want to help you prepare for the quizzes and the writing assignments and the final exam so that you'll be prepared for further study and for your career. Finally, don't forget that you also have another resource, your instructor. Although the course is designed to be flexible enough to allow you to direct your own learning, you're not studying alone. You still have access to an instructor who will provide answers to questions and guidance to help you through the course.